my name is Chantel, welcome back to my channel and thanks for hanging out with me today. So today is day 11 of 12 days of anime. Happy Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas Eve, whatever <laughs> the case may be. Um, whatever it is you celebrate. Um, so today I'm actually going to be hanging out with my family. Today is like our day as someone that's from a Hispanic family. We tend to celebrate everything on Christmas Eve and we open our presents at midnight. It's just, if you ask any Hispanic, that's what they'll tell you to do. Oh, I can't wait because I'm gonna eat tamales! Yay! <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fun Christmas Eve, whatever you guys are doing. And yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into this video. So for day 11, I wasn't originally going to make this video, but after seeing, after well, more like, um, after catching up with this series, I was like, oh my god, I need to make a video in my 12 days of anime. So I ended up scrapping a video that I had originally planned and now here we are. So what I'm gonna talk about today is an anime that I've completely fallen in love with and it was very unexpected and that is Idoroku, The World in Colors. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know, besides it being visually stunning, it's such a beautiful anime, like, as I said, visually and story-wise, at least I think anyway. I really, really love it so far and I love all the characters. You really grow to love all these characters. And right now, like the last episode that I watched was episode 11. And oh my gosh, it was just full of emotions that last, that recent episode that I just watched. I think we only have like two more episodes as I'm filming this video. So I'm really excited to see how everything is gonna play out with these final episodes. So ah, it's exciting and also a little bit heartbreaking because of everything that's happening. I'm like, ah, <laughs> like give her more time. But anyway, let me go ahead and tell you guys a little bit what this anime is about. So this is basically about our main girl named Hitomi. For whatever reason, she cannot see in color. We don't know why exactly she can't see in color and that's the reason why she was sent back into the past, which by the way, her grandma sent her back in the past and she didn't tell her um, and like why was the reason for her to go back in the past and she sends her back to when her grandma basically was a sophomore in high school because for whatever reason her grandma thinks that around that time she could help her. She doesn't tell her how she could go back into the, you know, to her current time either. So she's basically kind of stuck in the past and she plops in the middle of a guy's room that she doesn't know and she tries to sneak out but like a few of the characters that we're gonna get to know see her coming out through the window which was kind of hilarious and you can t definitely tell that she's just out of it and she doesn't know like the way everything works in this time period which is pretty freaking hilarious to see her like trying to work things out and she's just like whoa like what's going on like everything is so low tech which by the way i forgot to mention hitomi also hates magic and she's a mage um we don't know the reason right away you know ugh, i can't even speak oh my goodness <laughs> right away it isn't until like as the episodes go on you start to discover slowly but surely like why exactly she hates magic it isn't until i think it was episode 10 or somewhere around there like almost towards the end, um, you find out exactly why she hates magic so much. And it's for a good reason. And it's a really, really sad reason too. And it's uh, it's really, really cool. And especially I love seeing the relationship between her grandma and her. Like they're literal best friends and it's so cute. Also the boy that she starts to fall in love with, for some reason, uh, we really don't know why, Anytime he draws, she's able to see it in color. And it's like the most beautiful, visually breathtaking thing that you see, like when you like see her finally be able to see it in color. It's like, oh, you're, you're just so, you're like moved to tears. And unfortunately, like I said, it's only when he draws that she's able to see in color. And it's only his drawings for whatever reason. We don't know exactly why. And even she doesn't know why and her grandma's trying to figure out like exactly like what is the cause of this what's going on but it seems like she has an idea why she can't see in color and only why the pictures but yeah i mean this anime has been such 
a good, 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 good little anime that I absolutely love. And I'm so happy that I picked up because I didn't have any expectations with this one. I was like, oh, I'm probably gonna give it like maybe three episodes and then drop it. But I didn't, like you just become so invested in these characters and you just wanna see how everything plays out with Hitomi. And you wanna know the reason, why can't you see in colors? Why can't she, you know, like magic? Like what's going on? Like, ugh, like why can she only see the pictures that this boy draws in color? Like, you just want to see the answers for yourself. And as I said before, seeing Hitomi change throughout each episode is very, very beautiful, but she's not the only one that starts to change. The characters around her also change along as well because we get to see like, I like that we have like one episode with each character to really get to know them and see like what their problems are. And like I said, you just start to like really like these characters and I really like the characters because you kind of connect with them in a way because I mean they're high schoolers, they're going through high school things. There was one character where she was like, um, she didn't know what she wanted to do with the future and everyone else around her knew what they wanted to do. But in the end she decides to live in the moment and not worry about it. And I thought that was really beautiful. And there's just like so many other episodes like this that revolve with the other characters where they're dealing with something and by the end of the episode it gets resolved and it's i think it ends up being like really really nicely done but yeah that is it that's all i wanted to talk about with iloroku the world in colors it's such a beautiful anime you guys and i definitely think that you guys will like it and i'm so sad that nobody is talking about it out because you know most people skipped out on it and I definitely think you guys should check it out if you guys can but yeah that is it for day 11 I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me ramble on about this anime and I will see you guys tomorrow for day 12 bye